This call is being recorded. Hello and welcome to our webinar tonight about how to make freezer crockpot meals. My name is Amanda Greenthumb. I'm a certified health coach and I'm really excited about our call this evening. Um, a little background about me, I'm a mom, certified health coach, blogger at amandagreenthumb.com and gardening guru. I definitely am excited about tonight's call, I'll tell you a little bit of backstory about how we got here. So I made one post in a Facebook group if anyone was interested in learning more about freezer crockpot meals and and if they wanted to get my favorite recipes and I had such an enormous response I couldn't believe it so I'm really excited to be here tonight and to be recording this call because I know a lot of you will be tuning in and listening to the recording. So a little bit about my crockpot story. Um, I had been making crockpot meals cooked like fresh to order until I was pregnant with my son Lucas. He is now um, just over one, so a little over a year ago, I guess. I Someone told me about it and in my crazy nesting pregnancy stage that I was in, I went to town and I filled my entire freezer in like under three hours and I couldn't believe it. Um, I was pretty excited to have all this food storage. It really gave me the stability that I was looking for. I really felt like we were going to be okay, like I was prepared. Um, what I loved best about it was, one, there was no cooking. When I was prepping all the food, it was hot. Lucas was born the end of August, so it was the summertime and it was quite hot. And I didn't have to cook anything, so that was quite magical. And also, I wasn't reheating leftovers. So one thing I'm not the best at is eating leftovers. I'm not very good at that. And I really just don't like reheating leftovers a hundred times. And I think it tastes better the first time you cook it. So yeah, those definitely got me excited. It wasn't until, until I had Lucas and things were crazy, obviously with a new baby. And we ate almost a hundred percent crock pot meals for like the first six weeks. I couldn't believe how much they saved us. I just totally fell in love and it's something that something that I've kept into my into my prepping scheme. So I try to once a month set aside some time to prep something for the freezer. Um, crock pot meals are super simple like I said and yeah so on tonight's call I really want to talk about my tips and tricks. These are going to be things that will save you time and money while you're making your frozen crock pot meals. I also want to talk about how they can save money and the things that I have not had success with. Um, yeah, and then after this call, I'm going to send out the recording um, via email. So in the call that you get your recording, you'll also have the link to your PDF ebook of all of our, my favorite frozen crockpot recipes. I'm really excited about that. So I think that that's something that you will definitely, definitely be able to use. Okay, so getting started with our tips and tricks. So number one is really plan it all out first. So make your shopping list. Figure out what meals you're going to make in this one batch of time. Make your shopping list for everything. And yeah, make sure you have a list. Go to the store and only get from your list. If you want to save some time buying frozen chopped food already, for example, you can buy frozen squash that's peeled and chopped. It's a lot easier to open a bag of that and to throw it in um, than to peel and and cut up the squash. So if you're short on time, that's something to think about buying frozen, pre-frozen chopped veggies will definitely save you some time. Um, while you are making, making the meals, I want you to focus on one recipe at a time. So this really helps so that you don't get things confused. It really helps me to be one tracked and fully committed and focused on the recipe that I'm making. Um, they are quite similar. Think a lot of things get confused, so try to stick to one thing at a time. Another tip of mine is to cut everything and to put it into a metal bowl. 
So this really will help with an even distribution. Um, and yeah, just to recap, you're not cooking anything. You'll be taking your recipes and you'll be chopping everything up, putting it into a big metal bowl, mixing all of the spices, the herbs, you know, tomato sauce, whatever, mixing everything together. And then that brings us to my next tip. So portion for your family size. So for at my house, there's three of us. And so I tend to split these recipes in half and put them into two bags because that's just how we eat them. If there's more people, obviously you're going to want to have bigger sizes. So that's the beauty of once you cut it up, putting everything into that mixing bowl because it will really help to make sure that your portion sizes are bang on for your family and everything will be um, the same. They'll be very uniform. Another tip is to label all of your bags, the empty bags, before you put anything in them. That includes the name of the recipe, the cooking time, and any special instructions. So these are things like what you have to add or what it's served with. Um, that is exactly how your uh, recipe ebook in the email um, will be presented to you. So you'll be able to just copy that kind of information and put it on. So for example, um, if you're going to make a stew, I would write on all the bags, I'd write stew because once it's frozen, everything looks the same. Um, I would write stew and I would write cooking time low for six to eight hours. Um, if, um, if there's anything that, that would come with it, if you would serve it with rice or steamed veggies or mashed potatoes, I would also write that like serve with whatever. Um, it just helps when you're taking stuff out in the, in the morning. So I get asked all the time about searing meat. Do you have to sear the meat? So searing meat definitely adds flavor, um, but it's not necessary. So any kind of ground meat, I tend to not sear. If it's a large roast or um, if it's chunks of meat for stew, I will sear that. What searing does is you're just um, cooking it at a high temperature just on the outside and it just is cooking the outside so it keeps the juices in so it makes your meat more tender and more flavorful. Um, another tip is about dairy. So do not add any dairy to your frozen crockpot meals in the freezer and then in the crockpot. You want to only add dairy within the last 30 minutes before the cooking is done and this will make sure that your dairy does not curdle. Um, there's usually two times you're going to cook for, either if it's on high for four to six hours or on low for six to eight hours. Um, so just know that either low six to eight hours, high four to six hours. It'll just help if you realize it's like noon and you haven't pulled anything out. You can still do um, something on high for four to six hours. And you do cook from frozen, so that means that you're pulling the bag out of the freezer, dumping it into the crock pot, setting the time, closing the lid, and leaving it. So really, really helpful for busy moms. Um, another tip is to take advantage of sales. So if when I go to the grocery store, if beans are really on sale, then I'm going to stock up and I'm going to create a bunch of freezer meals around beans. This just really helps to be cost effective. Um, and also when you're freezing them in your freezer, you want to lay your bags flat and it just helps to stack them. Your crock pot must have a timer. So we did this. We bought a crock pot for my partner's father and the first one did not have a timer so be aware that they do not all have timers. Um, I always get asked if you can put raw meat in with the veggies. Yes, 100% so when you're freezing them, um, it being frozen in the freezer, it, it inactivates the microbes present in food so this is like your bacteria, your yeast and your molds um, that's going to help so it's good and you're going to cook it again so it's okay. If you're using frozen meat while you prep your food, you want to make sure that you don't thaw it. You don't want to have thawed food that goes back into the freezer. Um, most recipes take under 15 minutes. This is huge. When you are prepping one recipe, it takes under 15 minutes. That includes pulling everything out of the freezer and cleaning up your cutting board. Under 15 minutes, really quick, because you're not cooking anything. You're just prepping, cutting it into chunks mixing everything into a bowl and putting them into bags, so super easy. Um, another tip is to put your onions into the food processor and garlic. I find it's just a lot faster and less tears, so that helps. 
Um, these, these meals will last in a standard fridge and freezer combo for three months. This is not in the door that's in the back of the freezer. They'll last for six months in a chest freezer, like in a deep freeze. Um, and now I really want to shift gears and I want to talk about ways that we can actually save money. So keeping your recipes simple with few ingredients will help to save money. So um, definitely know that any kind of meal that you put into your crock pot right now most likely can be transferred to a frozen crock pot meal. I like to shop at Costco or at a bulk food store like Bulk Farm. Um, it just really helps me to save money when I'm buying things in big batches because it's a lot cheaper and I'm using them so much. So like beans, for example, um, canned tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, those kind of things. Um, meat is also organic meat, it's a lot cheaper at Costco as well. So what I do is I tend to stock my freezer and I tend to save them for a time when we need to save some money. So this is another um, key way that these meals can help you to save money because, for example, as we um, get closer into the fall, once we reach around November, we're going to be doing a lot of um, saving up for Christmas. I know a lot of people do that. Um, and that's where these meals can be huge. So at the end of October, you can set a day to make a whole bunch of freezer crockpot meals. And I mean, in one day, in, in three hours, you could easily make enough um, to have them two to three times a week. Um, that really will cut down the cost of the November grocery bills, which is really how we, these meals can help you to save money, especially when you're at a time when you're needing to save money for something else. Now I want to talk about things that I have not had success with. So not everything, obviously, can go into the crock pot. Um, I found fresh broccoli is always really mushy for me. Um, that being said, I find if I use frozen broccoli that's already frozen when I prep it, I find I have much better success with that. So use frozen broccoli instead. Um, any rice, putting in raw rice and freezing it and cooking it again, um, that does not work. Um, although actually I have had success with quinoa, just not rice, and pasta. Pasta has not, not been very successful, and some dairy. So like I said before in the tips and tricks, just really make sure that when you are going to use dairy or any kind of dairy product that you're going to put it in 30 minutes before you're done cooking. That will make sure that it does not curdle. Yeah, so this is a super simple way as a busy mom to stock your freezer. It takes two to three hours once a month to have two to three meals a week for the entire month. Like the t amount of time you need to put in is pretty small. Um, I'm really interested moving forward. I know like with the people that I know looking at like we should make a group of own night where we all come together and do this. I think getting some girlfriends together to come, your mom friends to come over and to all make meals together I think would be awesome. With more hands you'll be able to bang these out so much faster and even if you're focusing on one meal, like if you're focusing on for example um, the cauliflower bolognese which is an amazing um, pasta sauce I use with gluten-free noodles and you have the recipe in your in your ebook. I think I mean even if you just did that one recipe and everyone got together you know, having that, doing that once a month and being able to stock up your freezer, you know, and in two or three months, you're, you're at a place where your grocery bill is going to be a lot, a lot cheaper. And also you're going to have so much more time. Um, that's the other thing I want to touch on now. Just really, like, there's no planning. You don't have to thaw anything. You don't have to think about it the night before. You just have to pick something out of the freezer and dump it in frozen. And then the bag will tell you, how long it needs to cook for, so you don't need to, to think about that all the time. You don't have to try to remember that. And also, it will tell you what you need to serve it with. Um, yeah, super easy. So now I really want you to think about, about how could you have, how about having two to three less dinners every single week that you need to create from scratch? How could that change your life? What does that look like? So let's just say on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you have crock pot meals. And you never have to have the same meal, you know, 
all week. They're always going to be changing, but yeah, like how, what does that open time do for you? I know for me in my, in my life, that gives me more time to, to prep other food, to clean, to do laundry, to do dishes. It gives me more time to, to work on my business. It gives more time for me to be able to schedule calls with people. Um, it also, it also makes it a lot less stressful during the day because I don't need to think about what's going to be for dinner because it's already cooking. Um, and also I've done them where I put them in before I go to bed so that all day there's just warm food ready. Um, that's what I used to do when I was pregnant with Lucas because I was up. There was obviously, there was no day and night. I was up all hours of the day. So I would just huck them in and then I would have, you know, I would have this warm, this warm soup that was ready for me, this warm stew, this warm, you know, stuffed peppers. Again, you guys have all these recipes. So yeah, that's how it changed my life. Just opening it up, taking the stress off, having healthy meals that are available to everyone. They're super easy to bring, um, to send to school for kids lunches in a thermos. Like that's so simple. Um, yeah, so this mom hack has really allowed me to get back to basics with my food and still have time for my clients, my business, and my never-ending to-do list. So this is exactly what um, Balanced and Beautiful is all about. If you haven't heard of that, that is my group coaching program that is um, I'm currently running. So I'm kind of all about that, getting those mega doses of nutrition and really making these simple changes that with very little effort create huge value. So I took all of my mom struggles into account when I was designing this nutrition and life coaching program. And yeah, it's really, it's really helped me. I know I've been practicing obviously everything I preach and really walking my talk and these changes have really opened it up for me, especially frozen crockpot meals. Um, I really have five core concepts that I love coaching busy moms around. They are mastering the art of letting go of what doesn't serve you. I think a lot of times um, we forget about that part of being a mom, of the fact that we have to let go of things because we have to create space for those positive, new, exciting goals to manifest in our life. We need to have space for them. So for example, if you're someone that um, is always complaining that they have nothing to wear but you have a full closet, it's time that you get rid of the old stuff so you have a reason to be looking for new things. You have a reason to be thinking about new clothes. That's just an example. Another concept I use is getting back to basics with food. Um, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated to be healthy, right? It can be simple. It can be simple, it can be delicious, and it can be something that your kids are actually gonna wanna eat. Um, yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't need to be hard. You don't need to weigh everything. You don't need little containers. You know, by focusing on whole foods and getting more veggies in whatever way you can, you're creating a, whole, a wholesome um, homemade meal. Um, being grateful is another concept. I mean, I'm just, I'm so grateful for the outpouring response for this webinar, for being able to be here with you and to provide you with these recipes. And I know that um, giving this information and having someone to talk you through it and to really help you give you the tips is going to, I know that you're going to be making these meals and I honestly, from my experience, I know how much they're going to rock your world. I know how much they're really going to touch you because it's all about time. When you're busy and you don't have time as a busy mom, I mean, what, what better to have a nourishing meal on the table that you didn't have to, you know, you just have to pull out and dump in. It's, it's amazing. Um, Another core concept is just getting mega doses of nutrition. So trying to amp up your nutrition at the meals that you're already eating. These are things like superfoods, supplements, herbs, spices. You'll notice in all the recipes that you have in your ebook, they will have a higher doses of spices in them for this reason, because they are gonna help to amp up your nutrition, your vitamins, your minerals, your antioxidants, those sorts of things. Um, yeah, and that's something that through Balanced and Beautiful that we definitely touch on is just really what superfoods you need, how to keep them in your cupboard so that you're easily accessible, um, how many I recommend to each meal. So that's something that there's a really easy way that you can use the food you're already eating and just amp up the nutrition. And the last core concept of Balanced and Beautiful is really self-care. This is something I always coach women with is just 
taking care of yourself. I know as a busy mom, we're putting everyone first a lot of the day, right? <laughs> a lot of the day is revolving around everyone else and it does take a toll for sure. I mean, it's not something a lot of people talk about. We all talk about self-care and trying to, you know, make time for yourself, but instead of instead of thinking, you know, like what can you squeeze in? I want you to think about like what would be the most nourishing? Will be the most nourishing thing for your soul and how can you make that happen? So do you have to babysit one of your friend's kids for three hours and so you guys can have a trade-off? Um, that's an option. Can you, can you hire someone to come in while you're at home? Um, that's another option that you have. And yeah, I mean right now we're just really talking about self-care and what's included in Balanced and Beautiful. And I want to I wanna let you know that this call tonight as we're here talking about frozen crock pot meals and how to prep them. I mean, if you're just joining in now, you'll have to go back and listen to the recording. You're also going to get um, the free ebook with all of my favorite recipes. So super excited to put that together. It looks awesome. Um, and yeah, I mean, like it plays such a huge role because having time as a new mom or as someone that's busy, if you own your own business, um, Creating more time in your schedule is really priceless. Um, and it's all about getting those mega doses of nutrition, getting back to basics with your food. And that's a huge concept that I work with through my health coaching. So in the program, Balanced and Beautiful, registration closes October 7th. Um, what's going to be included in that is really things like we're talking about in tonight's call. So really how to get coached, how to get motivated and held accountable how to have the inspiration. You know, when you sign up for one of these events and you're getting these recipes for free and you have a recording, you're a lot more excited about this, right? So that's what it's all about. Um, we have weekly coaching calls, audio and video weekly modules that are released to you, handouts, recipes, a gorgeous program guide with everything you need to get started to feel more balanced and beautiful. We've created a workbook that actually follows along with the modules. We're very excited. This is new for this um, release of Balanced and Beautiful. We have a private Facebook group. You actually get two months supply of the highest rated nutritional supplements in the world, all included in the price. You get email, email support throughout the entire course. It's completely unlimited. Access to our monthly webinars and lots of bonuses because I love taking care of my clients. So. If um, you'd like more details about that, I will just um, add it into the email with this recording with all of the recipes. At the bottom, you'll be able to get um, get a link to more details and also the sneak peek training. So um, I know Paul, they may have never heard of a health coach before. They might not know what that is. And sometimes you want to try something out before you commit to making a change. And that's why we've created this sneak peek training for Balanced and Beautiful. So there's a three video part training series. Um, number one is the video, first video is about creating mental white space. So about how to get, dump everything out of your mind and an amazing breathing technique that um, conquers anxiety better than any drug. The second video is all of the dirty details and I'm gonna walk you through um, a gratitude exercise, so all the dirty details about the course. And then the last video is just about how to how to see into the future, how to hash out your big picture and your long-term goals. And the whole idea behind this training is just so you can get a taste of what it's like to work with a health coach, to feel more balanced and feel more beautiful, even if you don't sign up. That's the whole point of the course. So yeah, I'm just really grateful that everyone um, for everyone for tuning in on this call and also for everyone listening to this recording. Thank you so much for letting me into your life and being here with me. I'm really excited. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think about the recipes. I would love any feedback that you have about the recipes and, and how they go. Um, you can post them on my Facebook or definitely share them among your friends. So yeah, it was great speaking with you tonight. I hope that I hope that from this call you'll really see that these meals are such an easy hack that you can use to create more time. 
um, two to three hours once a month to create meals two to three times a week. So absolutely amazing. Thank you everyone for joining in. If you're just coming in now, um, we'll be wrapping it up here and you'll have to listen to the recording, but thank you for everyone that's been here and yeah, have an amazing night and I'll be in touch soon. Bye.